Great. So we are live now on Facebook as well. And uh, firstly, thank you everyone for joining in and thank you, Dr. Rong, for taking out time on an off day for us uh, for this session. Thank you so much for that. And uh, everybody who has joined in today, so th thank you again for joining in. Today we have a very special guest from the University of Plymouth, uh, Dr. Rong Huang who is uh, the program lead for MSc in Tourism and Hospitality Management at the Plymouth Business School in the University of Plymouth. Uh, she's also the associate head for international, uh, uh, associate head international for um, her school. And uh, we are extremely delighted to have you and, uh, on the session today and talk about the hospitality sector and um, you know, give insights on the tourism and hospitality management courses uh, in the Plymouth Business School, Doctor. So welcome and thank you so much for taking out time. Um, the session is all yours, so you can share your screen and you can begin the session. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for attending the session on, on Monday. And uh, my name is Rong Huang, and uh, I, as you can see, I'm an international person in Britain, and I have been in Britain for since 1999. And uh, today I will talk about the MSc Tourism Hospitality Management in Plymouth, where I have been the program leader for the last 11 years. I think it's a brilliant choice because we have very strong industry connection. You can see the three industry association uh, logo here, the Tourism Management Institute, because our program have very strong destination planning uh, emphasis. We are the center of excellence of Institute of Travel and Tourism. And in reality, I'm sit at the, the executive board of the uh, education and training for the ITT. We're also the education partner, APTA. That means uh, we have very strong connection with our travel sector. And uh, hopefully today's session gives you some information about University of Plymouth and also the course after my presentation, you have plenty of time to ask me questions. If I can't answer your questions, I might ask my colleague Wilma, and she's our regional office manager. And if both of us cannot satisfy your uh, question, I will take back and ask of our colleagues in central service or in the school. Hopefully, I provide you answer at the end. Okay. I don't know how many of you know Plymouth and uh, currently I'm in Cambria in the Lake District and in the northern part of the UK and I try to explain the Plymouth to uh, the English people as well. The Plymouth is in South Devon uh, coast uh, and in the southwest England. I would say we are the, the one of the largest city in UK in terms of population. We have 300,000 people in the city and among them, one in term of the population is actually university students. And uh, if you travel from London to Plymouth by train, the quick train service is about three hours. And average is about three and a half hours, of course. And if you want to travel by coach from the Heathrow Airport to Plymouth, we have a direct uh, coach service from London uh, Heathrow Airport. And we have very convenient transport service between uh, Plymouth to Bristol, to Birmingham, to Cardiff, to Edinburgh and more city. We also have a port, and which means we have a ferry service to the uh, Europe. The two big countries we have a link is uh, France and Spain regular uh, ferry service uh, between these uh, two countries. And it's really useful. And uh, we certainly take uh, advantage of this kind of ferry service. I take uh, our student to Roscoff in France for the field trip. It's a really enjoyable experience. Our students love it as well. If you look at Plymouth, Plymouth is a world uh, class modern university. We become a university become, uh, in 1994. However, if you trace our history, our history is back to the School of Navigation in 1862. And uh, Plymouth have very strong uh, emphasis in sustainability. In recent the uh, world rank impact study, we have very high ranking as well. Uh, in the university, we have uh, three faculties, Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Business where the business school locates and faculty of health and the faculty of science and engineering. And uh, you will see this uh, uh, 
professor here, Professor Ian Stewart, is our professor in sustainability, and uh, he was talking about the university. At this moment, I will not play this video because it's quite long, but I will come back to the video if we have time. If you look at the business school, business school uh, it has a very strong business and management focus, and uh, we have a three department. Accounting, economics, and the finance is our first department. And then we have a biggest department called business. In this department, we include a range of subject area, marketing, HRM, business, tourism, hospitality, and the event. And uh, so it is one of the biggest, it is the biggest department in the, the school. We also have international shipping, logistic, and operations. In our school, we have 150 staff, about 2,200 taught students, and also we have 150 PhD students. Currently, I supervise seven PhD students. We have an excellent range of program across uh, different disciplines. We have a traditional three-year programs or foundation program, which is uh, uh, four years. And also we have those kind of fast track course, which is two year for the degree. We also have a long distance, like a distant learning or online learning for our MBA top up. So we have a range of product to offer. And and uh, some of them are uh, truly in innovative. Come to the subject. Uh, this is a whole and tourism, uh, tourism and hospitality is our tradition. And if you look at the beautiful hole, normally my background is the hole. And as I'm away, so today you see the picture. And uh, the hole, you can see the uh, ferry service just uh, leaving uh, Plymouth Hole to go to France. And uh, tourism and hospitality have very strong uh, route in Plymouth. And in Plymouth Business School, we have a very successful uh, subject. Uh, for last uh, few years. And uh, why you study tourism, hospitality and a cruise uh, or event in Plymouth? Because it, this is the diverse industry with the various um, opportunities in a range of sectors. So we're talking about tourism, which include the travel, travel sector, tour operator, uh, airlines, railways, cold travel, and then you have a hotel, you have a um, cruise, you have an event sector, so a range of sector uh, involved in this industry. And we always say this is the one of the largest industry in the world. And you offer the careers that can take you all over the world. One of the good thing is we have a lot of graduates in all of the world, in India, in Dubai, in Las, uh, Latin America, in USA, in Canada and you know one of the things so proud is go to visit to them to, to see how successful they are so the career uh, from the tourism hospitality really take you everywhere and there's gross demand for a dining experience travel and a cruising and uh, yes pandemic hit us hard However, you, you can see people still have desire to travel and people still willing to travel. And so many people already book the holidays to, for, for travel. And uh, so although the pandemic hit the industry hard, but believe me, we will bounce back with confidence. And the lots of industry associations certainly prepare the recovery plan to encourage people to travel and safe travel. In terms of tourism hospitality industry, we offer the transferable business skills that will allow you to pursue career outside of the industry. I have so many examples later on when, you, when I show you where my student go, where my graduate student go. And you will be surprised because it's not tourism hospitality industry, but in the very uh, successful career in the investment bank, bank and uh, in the university, in the, um, in the sports sector, and a wider range of job opportunity. Why we're so uh, successful is because the transferable skills our students learned from the industry and the wide opportunity. And also you will find um, after five year, 10 year, their progression is so quick because the, the accumulate the skills from different sectors and make them confident to perceive their career. So why you study tourism, hospitality, cruise and event at Plymouth? 
And why Plymouth? Because we have 100% overall student satisfaction. If you look at the national student, uh, student survey, we have a small teaching team which is uh, who specialize in tourism, hospitality, and cruise research. So we have a research focus. And many of our colleagues publish a lot of journals, journal articles, books, and uh, they're also attending a lot of international conferences. And uh, all our modules are taught in the context of this uh, subject. So we teach marketing in a tourism hospitality industry. We teach the HRM in the cruise sector. So we are very much of uh, in the context instead of generic teaching. We all have very strong internationalization uh, presence. Our course taught in uh, not only in Plymouth, but also in the partnership institutions such as Hong Kong, such as in Greece, such as in Sri Lanka, and also will be in Malaysia. And we have very strong work-based learning opportunities to develop practical skills in tourism and hospitality industry. We have a hotel school, which we have a very strong relationship with the local business and our students can do internship or placement there. And as I mentioned, our class is small, so you, you, we get to know you. And sometimes it's good because when, uh, when you're missing, we will definitely know who will uh, find out you and we will support you. Nobody will let, uh, left behind. And uh, because it's small class, everybody get on quite well. And we have a placement uh, opportunity. Our placement is about 48 weeks. And we, uh, which is a year, nearly a year. And we also have a short, short term internships. Even during the lockdown, during the pandemic, we have a virtual internship to support our student. And uh, we have a mentoring scheme, which from the employer to support our student to develop, uh, which is run by the central uh, career service. We have very strong uh, industry partners. Just now in uh, my first slide, you see that we have a three association uh, uh, logos there. We have very strong uh, relationship, those three association. So we're attending the original meeting, the event, and our students have a chance to talk with the industry practitioner through the guest session and also through the industry competition. And uh, so for me, I'm very proud because what happened is we, we are teaching teaching our student the subject knowledge at, uh, at the forefront of the research. At the same time, we have very close relationship with industry. So make our student easily transfer to the industry and work in the industry. So tourism, hospitality management at a master level. And uh, our program have changed and, and improved last year and uh, we made a change to our uh, program and also our curriculum. In terms of uh, a master program, you will find that you need to demonstrate your understanding and ability to employ a various uh, research methods to tourism hospitality management environment. You need to have a capacity to manage a significant tourism or hospitality management research project. And this is really crucial. And of course, we have a two exit award, postgrad diploma and postgrad certificate. This is for students who can't proceed or for certain personal or career reason. And those are the two exit awards we, we are available to support students. Overall, our uh, program is emphasized critical understanding the theory principle and demonstrate your uh, skills in the, working in the tourism and hospitality industry and also demonstrate your uh, competence to work in the industry. In terms of a team, you see, um, I just need to change this. The, okay, just a minute. If you look at my, uh, if you look at my uh, screen, you will find uh, in my team, we have a, a four key, uh, staff. I'm the program lead and uh, Dr. Wyman Ning is our um, our course, le course leader for the, um, um, the hospitality contemporary issue and revenue management. Professor Sheila Agawa is our module leader for the sustainable development and uh, the crisis and disaster management. Uh, Smita is our 
the specialist for the HRM. So we have a full taught module plus a uh, uh, capstone project. I will show you the detail of our uh, program in just a minute. We have very strong, uh, as I said, our staff have very strong um, activity in research. Here, just an example to show you that recently we published a range of books like Heritage Screen and Literary Tourism by the Professor Sheila Agawa, Research Methods in Tourism, Hospitality and Event Management by Professor Paul Brandt. Um, Paul Brandt used to be our head of school and now is our director of academic partnership. And the other two colleagues used to work in Plymouth University. One is retired, one is taking the industry uh, um, industry job. So the, those are three colleagues from our business, uh, from our tourism hospitality program. Special interest tourism is a book edited by Sheila, uh, Graham, and me because we all have very strong interest in special tourism. In reality, uh, I wrote the food tourism, and uh, Graham actually contributed the literary tourism because it's our research area. So we have very strong research uh, contribution in in the school. We also write a lot of journal articles. Except that, um, I don't know how many of you know, Quality Assurance Agency um, for Higher Education in UK, uh, in terms of quality assurance, Dr. Wameling and I were selected to be the expert reviewer for Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education in the UK. And Dr. Ling is associated with business and related to subject, while I associate with both business and education subject. Recently, I also been uh, appointed by the QA to be their international quality reviewer and also their translational educational reviewer. So we have very strong quality assurance to our program. I think that gives a confidence to you when you study the international program. You do want a quality program, and here you are. You can see Dr. Wamani and I both the QA reviewer. So we were sure ensure you got a quality program and quality experience. We have very strong industry connection, as I mentioned before. We have a, a hotel patron uh, conference. We have the features and the special um, guest in our guest session. We have spring ball mentoring scheme, as I mentioned before. We had industry speakers come to our guest session. Now, just invite industry come to us. We also take our student out to visit the industry. For instance, in 2018, before uh, the lockdown or this kind of of reality, we, we took our student to the residential uh, consultancy trip to, to stay in a hotel and we student give uh, the, uh, the consultancy project for the hotel. In 2020, I take our master's student to a charity uh, organization, it's a Trenance Heritage Cottage. You, you can see our student take a note to the industry practitioners and also we give consultancy project for this organization. We organize the ITT Future U uh, career event in our campus and uh, we have, uh, uh, you can see here, we have Expedia, their global marketing director come to talk with our students and we take our student every year to travel technology show in London and certainly is really a uh, useful trip and uh, for our student take advantage of the advanced industry experience and the knowledge and our students are very happy and very professional in organize this kind of trip by themselves and organize the social event after the trip as well. Uh, except the guest visit to the guest visit and the attending the, those kind of professional event, we also take our student to the field work investigation because we have the destination planning and management module. I'm the module leader. I tend to take my student to the, to the field trips and some of them are in the UK, but we always have one in Europe every year. And as you can see, um, because the COVID and these two years, we don't have the trip because there's um, a the restriction in terms of travel. However, we still manage to take our student for the local visit to the different places. Some example here is those kind of adventure visit, normally at the uh, at end of October to make sure we have a strong team uh, to work together. And we also take our student, one of the photos show is Portsdown in, 
uh, in Germany and we take the student to the world travel market. And uh, so field, with, field work investigation is really crucial because what happens is we have a direct link to our destination planning and management module. Uh, when we visit those kind of destinations, we also invite the local expert, some of them from the university, some of from the tourism board to give a on the spot lecture to our student. It was really, they, they are very uh, entertaining and also very uh, professionally organized and students really appreciate those kind of uh, industry uh, interaction and also apply the theory to the practice straight away. We also discussed the, the gaps in the, the gaps between the theories and the practice and discussed the, the way to improve understanding. So the field work visit is our characteristics in our program. How are we going to assess you? And when we teach you, we tend to have uh, lectures, we have uh, seminars, we have uh, workshops, and you might want to know, so what kind of things we need to looking for when you come to study here? We have normally, we have a two assessment per module, if you come to study with us, and uh, the assessment type tend to be the report and essay and the uh, presentation in infographic poster, and dissertation or we have the capstone project and the presentation can be uh, individual presentation or group presentation infographic poster is really successful our students feel they they have very strong design um, and talent in terms of nature as i said it can be an individual or group and so you have um, for our module you have a three attempt to pass a module if you fail, your, if you fail the first attempt, you have a reset opportunity in a failed element. So you are not, uh, you not a reset for uh, uh, two element. You only fail, uh, you only go to reset the failed element. And if you fail after referral attempt, you will have, uh, you will have to retake the taught element of the module to pass it. And uh, for our program. You, to pass the module is 50%. You need uh, an overall uh, aggregate pass uh, is 50%. So if you have a two element and one is 40, another one is 60, the average is 50, you still pass the module. And so you need to make sure you understand is the overall pass mark. And uh, for our assessment, you, you will be assured our module handbook provide a clear guideline about assessment brief and assessment criteria. And also we have an assessment workshop to explain to you what is expectation and how you approach assessment. And then we have an assessment brief session where you show your coursework to your, uh, to your uh, model leader or the people who set the assessment. And we will read it and give your comment. And so, um, your fully support to to understand and perform and to pass. Of course, we hope not just pass. We hope you secure the higher mark. We have a different grades for us to pass is fifty percent, and uh, if you fail, it will be under fifty percent. Pass is fifty to fifty nine, and the marriage is sixty to sixty nine, and distinction is seventy plus. And uh, I know different countries have a different um, pass mark. Sometimes you will find goodness me, sixty that is uh, so low. Believe me, in Britain, 60 is not so low, okay? 60 is uh, married. And uh, because I want to emphasize several times to people, because when we have international students, you tend to have a different expectation of the marks. And uh, uh, some students, I remember, cried because when they receive 60% 60, 60 and I need to tell them, this is a good mark, you need to be happy. And uh, for us, we really try to support you through the, works, uh, the assessment work workshop and assessment uh, brief session to make sure you understand assessment and also perform not just the pass position but also get a higher mark. Overall last few years we always have a lot of students in the merit and the distinction category and uh, so that you will be uh, I hope that give you sort of a relax is uh, we try to support you as much as we can. Our program is uh, 
uh, full of stars. My stars really make me proud. Example here is uh, Janice Ed Edwala, and uh, he's our international student. He's actually from uh, Sri Lanka. And you can see here, he did a uh, one that's uh, paper for one of my module and the paper it was really well written it is about the innovation in one of the hotel chain in Sri Lanka and subsequently he submitted the paper to the East conference and guess what he got the best paper overall winner and uh, he was so over the moon when he got that best paper overall winner because the, the, the uh, attendees from all of the world and uh, he got the best paper overall. And uh, he carried on hardworking and uh, he was succeed in his uh, postgraduate dissertation and uh, he was nominated and won the Tourism uh, Management Institute uh, best uh, postgraduate uh, prize that year as well. And currently, uh, Janice is teaching in Sri Lanka in one of the private universities and also doing the research, continue his uh, sustainability interest. And uh, so he is international student and succeed and bring the pr pride to our program. And at the same time, I'm very proud of him. We still have very close relationship. And uh, recently he came to talk with our student talking about how he developed from the master study and working successfully in the tourism management company now move forward to a teaching position. So this is one of the example, quite happy to share with you. Another example is our uh, Victoria and uh, she Victoria Ward. She is actually a um, mature student and she come in and uh, in reality, she's actually uh, slightly uh, older than me and she's successful and doing her part-time job in the Eden project, but she wants to improve her understanding of the uh, knowledge and, uh, and the principle, understanding of the knowledge and the principles. And she also wants to do a master degree because what happened is her kids are already out of the house to study in the university. And she said, it's time I go to university again to get a master degree to prove my words. And so she come back and she have very strong interest in the ocean pollution and the plastic pollution and she did really well in her study and uh, she also presented a very successful uh, dissertation. She was nominated uh, as ITT responsible tourism student, responsible tourism student of the year in 2020 and guess what? Now, in order to achieve her ambition, she is uh, a progress with Plymouth University doing her PhD with Plymouth University. So I give you some example. You can see international student progress really well to success at the international stage and now uh, progress to the teaching position. And uh, Victoria is our maturity student come back to achieve her dream and now doing her PhD. The two examples just give you uh, some understanding. I thought I have talked a lot. Let's see what our students say. Roger say. Can you hear it? Oh, just a uh, Dr. Rong, we are unable to hear the audio. Okay, just a minute. Hi, I'm Vinod Alexander, and I'm a proud alumni of the University of Plymouth. I completed my master's in hospitality and tourism management in the year 2009. Looking back at that time, I have fond memories of the time we spent in classes at the university, especially of the moments when we had our projects due and the time we spent on preparing for our final dissertation. Our best memories were in the classroom, time spent discussing concepts of tourism, with learned professors like Rong, Graham Busby, Paul Brunt, Mark Stone, and Sheila Mould, and many other teachers as well. Their experience and teaching styles helped us be actively interested and engaged in the classroom. The multicultural environment at Plymouth has incredibly been helpful for me, and I believe for many others. Now, to broaden my horizon, and work with a varied set of individuals. The friendships formed at Plymouth have endured all these years 
and I'm still in touch with a lot of our friends from the university even now. The facilities at the university are top notch and the library is extensive where I spent a lot of my days and nights researching for my projects as well as the dissertation. Talking about Plymouth, it is a student friendly place with a lot of opportunities for recreation and tourism, especially for a student like me from India. I've been in the hospitality industry for the last 10 years and the learnings that I received at Plymouth have helped me immensely, especially with the way I write business proposals, create effective training programs. I'm a training manager right now with a five star hotel in Dubai. Understand how the hospitality industry works and changes through the years and keeping myself up to date with the new practices in the industry. I'm happy that I chose Plymouth for my education and I'm pretty sure that you would do. Go for it and all the best. Okay, so this is our Indian alumni back in 2008 come to join Plymouth and now based in Dubai. Pandemic certainly hit the tourism hospitality industry in Dubai very hard. And uh, Winnard is a brilliant example of resilience and uh, successful um, graduate we have. Guess what? He transferred his job to a dairy company as training manager. Within very short period of time, he set himself up as a very successful training manager for the dairy company. And uh, we had keep we successfully uh, keep contact with each other. We're talking about what he wants to do after the next five years. He wants to be uh, a professor in the Indian University. He wants to uh, return to the academic circle. And we're talking about potential PhD together. And Vingnaut is an Indian student come to UK and now work in Dubai. As I said, our subject provide international opportunity uh, to our graduate. Kimberly is our mature student and uh, her experience is slightly different compared to Winnard, but again, she is a really interesting and successful. Hi graduate. from Dorset, my name is Kim. I studied my Masters in Tourism and Hospitality Management at the University of Plymouth. The course was absolutely fantastic. We did modules like Disaster and Crisis Management, E-Strategies, Marketing Innovation competitive advantage, things that you would take into the industry with you and be ready to go. It gave you such a good insight into operational aspects of the business. Being in University of Plymouth with the sea on your doorstep and the moors on your doorstep, it's absolutely a great place to learn because you've got so many different aspects of hospitality and tourism. We we're really fortunate that we got to go to Innsbruck. I was awarded um, free travel and free accommodation so I could present my conference paper at the IS Contour 2019, which then was subsequently published. It's the, also in our cohort, I had five, mem five different nationalities. It was just fantastic because we got to sit, have our lectures, but then learn about each other's cultures and how things were where they lived and where we lived and how we did things and it just you just learn so much about different people and our lecturers were really fantastic especially our course leader who would actually actively push you to socially engage as well so that you're learning about international issues and um, things like going to the Chinese New Year and that sort of thing just fantastic so if you're thinking about t doing this course I can thoroughly recommend it it really is an eye-opener, it is a life-changer, and I've achieved things that I never thought was possible. So, all I can say is you won't regret it. Bye from Dorset. Hi from Dorset, my name is Kim. I studied my Masters in Tourism and Hospitality. Sorry. And the King is uh, now grad graduated from the program now and also working in a holiday company and uh, based in Dorset. At the same time, he's our uh, guest uh, session uh, speaker 
for our cruise student because uh, she has done quite a lot of cruise and work in the cruise company and do a lot of training and the students certainly very interested in what she said and she certainly provide those kind of industry insight to our student of course because king is my student and uh, she always joke with my uh, our undergrad student or be careful wrong have a very certain requirement for coursework and all this sort of thing and uh, certainly we have very close relationship with our student and uh, kings regularly contact me through the whatsapp through the uh, facebook to ask me ideas for the career progression and uh, also she was talking about potentially i will come back in next five five years time to do a phd to improve my understanding of the industry and the develop of different career paths and the two example one is international student one is home student one is just student who finished the university come to do a master degree another one is mature student have worked around the different sector of the tourism hospitality industry and come back to get a master hopefully they give you idea it's not just me say the the program is good and our graduate alumni certainly back up this idea as well Hi from Dorset, my name Sorry. is Kim. Hi, I'm Vinod Alexander and I'm a proud alumni of the University of Plymouth. I completed my master's in hospital. I just need a technical. Okay. Um, as I said, we have very strong focus on the career element. This kind of focus is not just talk, but it's action. If you look at our program arrangement, we arrangement of the career discussion at the start of our induction week. So basically in our induction week, we'll have a whole morning talking about career. And I will start to say, well, okay, after your master's degree, what do you want to do? And what kind of things I can help you? And each of our students need to develop their profile and I will then give the idea what kind of things we have and what kind of things you need to do uh, to develop your skills. So we start from the induction. Sometimes students say, hey, I'm just come to do your master program. How can you ask me career already? This kind of discussion is really make our students think because one year can be very short. The time pass so quickly so we start from the induction to get the idea of career development plan and i will regularly send them information about the different event they can attend to develop the career uh, accordingly we also students need to develop their induction essay and uh, at the first week and uh, and then i will give the feedback about the induction essay about their writing skills act academic skills to ensure they are capable to progress to our program and if they have some uh, difficulties in certain skills i will give a recommendation what kind of training they can do and there, we also provide a different uh, support to our student. For instance, as I said, the student uh, uh, developed the career profile in the induction. And then every month I will send them email about what kind of job they can apply, what kind of things they can do to improve their CV. By the end of June, if you're a September entering student, uh, I will working with our university career service and uh, I will uh, actually provide different opportunity and workshops which our students need to attend to prepare the interview or prepare the assessment because a lot of because a lot of those kind of uh, uh, the management trainee programs have assessment centers now some assessment center actually in Plymouth but others in different places we, our career service will help our students prepare those kind of assessment center activity we also develop the internship opportunities to help our student to secure relevant work experience because what happens is if you only have a qualification have no work experience you will find it's difficult to get a job so why in the first week uh, find out what you want to do what is your cv look like i will try to act actively to ensure you accumulate different type of work experience to demonstrate different skills you have um, by the end of the July, I normally developed a tailored reference for each of my students, and so our students can use the reference to apply different jobs. In reality, this year we had a January entry and September entry. Our students had a very uh, good relationship, uh, do different things, and uh, get the jobs.
So what kind of job you can have? You will find that your range of job opportunity you can have in the industry and uh, uh, you will work in the operation management, you can work in the food and drink management, room division management, and the conference and event management, guest relation, revenue management, and HR, talent management, manage the marketing or business development, the range of job opportunity you can think in the tourism and hospitality industry. You and if you look at here, uh, I just show you an example of a student and where they go, you will find there are some of them working Shangri-La, some of them working Marriott, some of them working the Mandarin Oriental, Intercontinental, Echo Hotel Group, it's typical hospitality industry, Atlantis. And as you, you heard the uh, winner talking about, uh, he worked in the five-star hotel training as a training manager, Atlantis. He worked in Atlantis as assistant training manager and subsequently he moved to another five-star hotel uh, to, to be uh, the training manager. Well, student work in the tourism attraction like Oxford Gulf Resort in India and Royal Collection of Trust. And we have a student as visitor uh, manager in the Windsor Castle. And we have, a, um, if you look at the, um, the cruise company, as I said, we have very strong connection with the cruise company. We have a student working in the Carnival Cruise, Royal Caribbean, and uh, those two, uh, Princess Cruise, and those two, a few cruise company regularly come to our university to recruit our student. And uh, we have students working in the airlines. You see the working at Atlantic, United, Air China, Emirates, Singapore Airlines. So those are the key airlines our students have a, a jobs. In reality, one of the students, um, I think he graduated, she graduated four years, three years ago now, and she worked as an air, she did a first degree in psychology and went to be an air hostess for three, um, three Middle Eastern airlines. And after 10 years of work as a host, uh, the air host, he decided to go to do a master degree. And uh, after the master degree, he said, she said, I want to work in the ho uh, hospitality sector. I want to work in the hotel. Yes, she went back to work in the Radisson Hotel for six months and then decided, I still want to work in airline. He then got a job as a um, supervisor for the service center in United in Hong Kong. So we have very strong uh, airline industry uh, relations and we as I said we also have a student working in the university and we have a student working bank like a, a China Mingxian Bank this is the first private bank and the Bank of Montreal and in reality I can still have a vivid memory of this student who will not work in the Bank of Montreal Beijing branch because uh, just before she finished her own um, dissertation, she started looking for a job and uh, we give her encouragement, say you should looking for the job you are doing your um, project. She, her project is about the uh, hotel finance. So she talked about different uh, hotel finance option. And uh, here you are, she worked in the Bank of Montreal. And uh, that was a really interesting option for her to develop. And uh, th this is just job our graduate and a master student doing and uh, certainly provide a wide range of opportunities and wide range of variety from our uh, master student. Of course, we have the ones who want to be her, their own boss. And uh, we have a student used to work in the, uh, in the hotel sector, in the bank. And now they have their own uh, training company. For instance, the, uh, the Sherrod have her own uh, have his own training company. Uh, uh, Vane have her, his own training company. The guy who went to work in the Mingsen Bank developed his own travel agent. And at the same time, you will see the four students in one photo. Two, one used to work in the Marriott, uh, Marriott and now become uh, have her own training company for the hotel staff. Another person have run successfully of the advertising agency. Um, and all the students provide your idea. You know, you not just need to work for people, you can be your own boss and then you can be successful. In terms of a tuition fee, if you look at our tuition fee, our postgraduate program is 15,200. 
we also have the scholarship. Our three type of scholarship is for the master student. One is um, international academic excellence scholarship. This is the year we gave uh, 20 in the business school about the student who have very successful academic profile. If they have distinction, they can apply our uh, academic excellence scholarship. This excellence scholarship means 50% of the tuition fee. For this, you need to apply and you need to fill in the application for separately. And when you submit your application, if you have a distinction profile of admission service, we invite you to apply this academic excellence scholarship. We also have an international student scholarship. This is for the student who go to one. And if you go to one, you will find that you're automatically award two thousand pound off from your tuition fee. And you don't need to apply because we just give you automatically based on your academic profile. We, uh, we emphasize the academic excellency so we give the student the, the scholarship based on the successful academic performance except the university in the business school we have a range of learning services run by the student service and to support student study and uh, living in the UK the study learning service they support students start to learn and they have a proscribed writing support to support students to write especially the dissertation they also run the peer support and also writing cafe to support students develop their uh, experience in the UK and uh, if you need the language training you will find uh, because for our course you will find uh, we ask for L6.5. If you are not get that kind of mark, we have those kind of language course available. If you go to L5 uh, point, you will find we have those kind of 11 week uh, training course. If you have L5.5, we have eight weeks training course which are available. And uh, if you go to L6. Point zero. We have a six a week training course, and uh, if you go to X uh, L six point five, but your writing is not that up to the level, then we have a two week uh, training course. So we have a range of training course available. If you are uh, if you need those kind of training course, make sure you apply our language uh, professional language um, um, courses, and uh, you will find the application form available from our website. If you need those kind of application for, please do let me know or let the ADP, uh, IDP know. I'm sure they can help you to support to get our uh, professional language application form. I'm sure Wilma from our uh, regional office, man, uh, regional office, will support you as well. So that is for language professional course. And uh, in sessional during your study here, you will find you have a language support courses as well to support you to to develop your coursework and those courses are free and uh, you can take it during your time and also they have a ad hoc workshop to support you as well. When you come to studies, university have a range of accommodation, whether it's halls resident within the university, which is two or three minutes walk to the classroom, or outside the university. One of the things you are assured in the university, if it's university recommended private accommodation, university will be check those kind of places and ensure it's safe for you to live. And if you visit our Plymouth University website accommodation site, you will find a listed a, a list of options from our website about different halls of residence outside the university you can book and so it's really convenient and it's really close to uh, our business school. The most important service in the university for the international student, I would say, is international student advice. They have a lot of up-to-date advice for our international student in university, one thing for academics is we do not give any advice to the immigration matter. So if you have anything in relation to immigration, we always recommend to, to you to the, our international student advice. And our, even during the lockdown, our international advice run the Zoom session every week, every day for our international student. They have the up-to-date information about the study, uh, about the visa, about the post-study work, visa or uh, student uh, student route or you can find information about the uh, visa issue in relation to work during the study or after the study or during the holiday 
as I said, if you have a question about visa issue, the best place to ask is our international student advice. They're really supportive and approachable. And that is most, I, I always say this is the most important service for the international student in the university. Okay, I think that's all from me. And uh, hopefully I give you a uh, sort of um, a brief introduction to my program, to the university. And uh, if the floor is yours, if you have any question, I'm happy to answer you as much as I can. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ong. Um, I am just going to check if you have any questions. Guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comment box. I see Wilma already put my uh, program page there. Thank you so much. That's very helpful. <laughs> There was also a question on Facebook, which I have answered regarding okay. uh, IELTS. So, Thank you so much. You're the best <laughs> supporter I have. And we give you a medal afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? I'm very happy to answer your questions. If you have questions regarding to study the tourism hospitality program, and uh, also one thing I forgot to mention is how uh, about part-time job. Some of the international students, when they come to study in UK, they really want to know how, whether it's easy to get a part-time job, what kind of part-time jobs you can find. In our career service, we normally run two at least, the part-time uh, job fair in Plymouth and uh, to introduce a range of part-time opportunity in Plymouth or surrounding area. And also our students have very strong um, a group um, connection and they tend to support each other. For instance, in my uh, January entry, we have uh, nine international, we have eight in international students. And uh, within the first month, five of them get part-time jobs. And uh, it was really interesting because within five weeks, the, um, within five, within two weeks, I received an email to ask me to write reference for my international student because they already got part-time jobs. And uh, so we have the central service to support you find the part-time jobs. And also we have a local links among the student group to support each other to get part-time jobs. So um, it's easy, relatively easy for our international student to find a part-time job if that is what you want to do. And of course, also range in two days, uh, so two or three days. It means you have other days you can do study, work, and uh, and a combination of pleasure as well. Great. So um, I was just checking the questions. Uh, as Wilma mentioned, Wilma has already answered. Uh, the ones on Facebook. This was regarding scholarships and IELTS requirements. So that has been answered. Um, I don't see any questions here. Uh, doctor, so probably we can bring the session to an end. Okay. Yes. And thank you so much for, you know, sharing the insights about the MSc program in tourism and hospitality management. And thank you for the detailed information on all the you know, students who have studied alumni, current students, that is really helpful. I'm sure students will be able to, you know, uh, relate to it and, you know, find more answers to their questions through this video and through your session, doctor. Um, right. And also, thank you so much, Wilma, for taking our time and organizing this session, uh, coordinating with uh, doctor. And Happy uh, to do that. Thank you, Wilma. So we'll bring the session to an end. Um, I will just stop the live screen.